Now that all the epoxy has cured on the fillets and the fins, we're going to sand them down. And I've got this rocket in different stages. Um, and I'm going to show you my process. Um, right now they're pretty smooth, uh, but we want to get them really smooth. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a wood dowel and I've glued sandpaper to this dowel. And this is a half inch wide dowel, half inch diameter dowel. And I've got two different grits. i got a rough grit, probably about 180 grit, and then a finer grit, probably maybe about uh, 200 something. Um, so what I'm going to do is sand along that fillet. And as you can see, when I sand there, it's leaving uh, dark spots and light spots. The dark spots is unsanded, and the light spots has been sanded. And you want to get it nice and uniform. This is looking pretty good. You see I've switched to the finer grit sandpaper. And you can see now it's just the uh, just the corners, and for that I just got a regular piece of sandpaper so I can get in there. Okay, now it's usually just the edges um, that have little gaps in them. And to seal that down, I'm going to use some uh, Elmer's Carpenter's Wood Filler. Um, this is a, a paste that comes in a tub and it's kind of thick like butter. Um, and I just got a little container here. And I'm just going to take a dollop of it, put it in there. Now the, the nice thing about this stuff is it's water soluble means you can thin it out with water and I got a little glass of water here and I'll just pour a little bit in there and stir it up and you want to make this really eh, thin to medium thin and, and I've got it really thin here and if it gets too thin you can always add more Now if you got big gaps, you're going to want it a little bit thicker, and since mine is pretty smooth already, I did a pretty good job putting those fillets down in the first spot, in the first place, so I don't need a lot. It's just the feathering out the edges. You see it's a little bit liquidy. Have some paper towels available. Wipe that off. And I've got a paintbrush here. And I'm just going to paint that on to what I've just sanded. And I probably got this a little bit too thin. But you can always add more. And since this is water soluble, we only have to wait for the water to evaporate, evaporate out before we can start sanding. And I've already gone and applied some to another fillet, and so you can see what it looks like here.
And oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. And you can stick it in the water to get the excess out. Okay, next thing is to sand this and I'm going to stay away from the dowels now. I'm going to switch to a, a fine grit sandpaper on a sanding pad. Um, and, and this wood filler is non-structural. It doesn't add anything to the strength. The strength is all in the epoxy. And it sands really fast. Getting down to the uh, to the epoxy clay again, which is good. I want to take off probably about 95% of that, and, and when it's done, it's going to look like this side here. And you can rub your finger along it, and you can see the, the light areas are where the um, is the carpenter's wood filler, and the epoxy is the darker area. And that's probably what it's going to look like when you're done sanding it. And that's our goal, is to get it nice and smooth. And it really is just about feathering out those edges. And so when you're done, it's going to, it's going to look just like that. And at that point, you're almost ready to paint. We'll just put the rocket together and get, ready, get it ready for painting.